Hello and welcome to another episode of Tech Fanatic Official, your honest call to the crypto world. Today I'm going to cover three projects that are coming uh, end of April, early May for IDO and listing. Of course, the market is not looking fantastic right now. Uh, you know, usually May, June, July are the lower side every year. So last year we had like um, the AI hype, change GPT launched, and then we had a few months of lower sort of market level. The year before was this uh, move to end, you know, we had step up. And the year before was the GameFi uh, when it came back. So we are going to be a bit slower. It means better to invest in lower FTV projects, um, lower valuation, lower fully diluted value, lower initial market cap, and quality projects. Um, obviously, projects I covered not necessarily means they're high quality, but they are um, most likely lower in terms of the valuation. So first project I'm going to cover is going to be Evermoon. So Evermoon is a game file project and it's more of a uh moba sort of narrative of game five five version five versus five um i have covered them before also in my channel last year so basically uh they have the five versus five uh three lane moba model and then if you want to see more demo they have it on their website as well on how the, on how the game plays so the game is is live a lot of people actually have tested it before and uh, it, it did receive a positive uh, feedback. Um, it's also coming soon out of desktop to Google Play and App Store. So it's like a next generation mobile revolution. Uh, it has the five versus five battle and uh, it's a top tier basically game in, in this narrative, of course. And the app will have a sort of an all-in-one access for people to play it. I'll share a link also to to play and they have like different uh, characters, assassin, fighter, mage, marksman, support, tank. And then they have the NFT and card bundles based on um, sort of characters that you have, which you can play around and also uh, fight with each other. Um, you can also, you know, have the game basically uh, fetched to learn more about it. The core team have gaming experience. They're based in uh, basically Thailand and uh, nice t-shirt, by, the, by the way. They're based in Thailand and they're, they're experienced developers in terms of partnerships. They've got CDFI as an incubator, Immutable Chain, uh, Merit Circle, which is behind the Beam Chain as well, AWS as a cloud provider. They have Catalyst, Coi Capital, uh, CSP DAO, GD10 Capital, Moon Edge, um, multiple community VCs here. This is one that you can see. Uh, Asian Blockchain Gaming Alliance, Chainlink for the RVF, uh, CLS for market making, uh, Tascon for the campaigns with Zilli, Magic Square to be uh, you know in the App Store for them, Elixir for gaming platform, and the Tennis Studios. In terms of roadmap, they've covered the roadmap pretty well. So they had the seed sale of EVM 2022 and the gaming hype sort of died off so they focused on the gameplay itself uh, doing the esport events and the alpha i was actually part of the alpha in 2023 they had the private sale they had the version 2 of the alpha with the esport events and then the pre-beta launch and the q1 and q2 2024 uh, finalized the beta testing and the public sale with, uh, in, with cdfi launchpad and soon with ape terminal and nft marketplace introduction Future roadmap focuses on the beta uh, phase three launch and esport events, NFT airdrop and soft launch with the play to earn for the campaign. And then 2025 is going to be the new three version versus three model that they have. And they've got the also the lottery model and they have like uh, different functions like the scared beast and decentron portal, as well as a marketplace. So the lottery is basically a campaign where you could win different prizes whether nfts or characters for the game and the pool is more a uh, new functionality that you can have to deposit and get the privilege because we're talking get the privilege of the pool um and then they have the sacred beast as well which is like you know growing your character basically for fighting so that's in terms of the the project Obviously, they have done the private sale in um, the CD5 launchpad and also uh, the seed round. They're also going to do a public round as they're the incubator of the project. And the tokenomics itself, it's on BSC, total supply of 1 billion, valuation of 10, 10 million, 
and the hard cap raise of 3.25. Uh, 622K is going to be the initial market cap. And uh, looking at the token utility, as I said, you can get the experience for the sacred beast. You can do the decentral pools and FT capsules, in-game purchase, in-game DeFi utilities, and the NFT marketplace. And the DAO voting revenue comes from the common capsules, which are valued at $2, epic ones, $8, legendary, 16 special items at $10, basically. And then the in-game advertising and the marketplace and DeFi transaction when the game goes live. Now, in terms of the tokenomic sale, they had the seed round sale at uh, six cent, uh, 0 0.6 cents, which is 6 million FTV. 450K was raised, 4% is unlocked on TGE, two months cliff, and then daily linear resting for 12 months. Private had uh, 8 million FTV, 6% unlocked TGE, two months cliff, and then nine months unlocked vesting. Public is um, at uh, 10 million FTV, TGE unlock is 12%, so double the private. Hence why uh, a bit more expensive. Two months cliff followed by uh, daily linear resting for six months. And uh, the KOLs also have the exact same terms as the public. Liquidity is going to be um, unlocked as a 60% TG and then daily linear resting over six months. The team itself is going to be 12 months cliff and then 48 months linear resting and advisory also has a cliff. Um, daily linear resting also for staking and farming. As I said, the token itself is going to be on the Binance chain and they have a heavy partnership with them. So in terms of IDOs, this idea of Acidify is coming next week and the uh, platform I need to stake obviously to be in one of the tiers for Acidify. And the IDO on App Terminal is happening in eight days from now. So on the 7th of May and uh, 600 lottery tickets each will uh, win 500 dollar usdc worth of evermoon token basically uh if you can successfully invest in terms of their socials uh for evermoon also they've got uh 157k followers which is uh pretty strong and they have uh you know very high traction as you can see and quite a fair bit of hype in Thailand. A lot of people actually play it over there. And the idea, as I said, on Cidify is going to be on 25 to 26 April. And uh, yeah, quite popular project basically in terms of um, hype. And the uh, next project that I'm gonna move into, and the listing is gonna be on the 8th of May for this one on a few exchanges, decent ones. Next one I'm going to move into is a co-launch between uh, CDFI as well as ChainGPT. So that's one is called the uh, Style Protocol. Um, this one, which I'm going to cover uh, in further detail, is basically an infrastructure for assets. You can uh, connect virtual assets and make them, um, you know, usable across different games and 3D games with Style Protocol. And uh, basically the interoperability comes in for different projects and products. So you can use also the product for bridging and usability of licensing. Uh, the token itself is 920, uh, you know, 920 uh, million in terms of the token supply. You can connect any NFT in any blockchain and license it and early rewards for your licensing. You can use the assets in game and uh, I'll go to the partnerships, but I like to also sh show a bit more here. So in Chain GPT, as I said, it brings monetization and utilization of the virtual assets in any game, metaverse, virtual world, based on NFT sub-licensing. So you can do a sub-licensing of the, the product, and uh, it can be on any different chain. Uh, it can be centralized or decentralized. There will be, you know, um, so Star Protocol basically also bridges between different metaverses and products. And it's a hub that helps cross multiverse utilization of projects. The main uh, part is that the NFT can be staked uh, on the protocol to unlock uh, you know, usability assets you can use for the circulation and multiverse campaign. And they have the DAO governance uh, and regulation for the supply chain and protocol principles. And the protocol also has uh, readily available uh, for anyone to use and participate in the ecosystem itself. They have integrated platforms and options for Web3 games. So they have Sandbox, Decentraland, uh, Crypto uh, Voxels, and Nifty Islands in the Web3 games, Web2 games that you can use. For example, they've got GTA, Fortnite, League of Legends. And of course, you can use it in social platforms like TikTok and Instagram. 
the business model is, uh, as I said, uh, you can uh, create 2D or 3D images for a fee, bridge them in different uh, sort of uh, chains and also rent them out as a utility token. Um, this is a bit small. I'm going to see if they have the information about the team in maybe in the about us. So then if they have it. Can't find like a sort of uh, zoomed in sort of product. So I'll just go through the one here. So the team, uh, they've got Leo as the CEO and then they've got a few devs who got a Techstar award in 2022. And then they've got a few advisors from, um, you know, Curado brands and uh, football clubs, basically people who can bring those sort of sub licensing. And then they've got partnerships with CD5, Faber, Alpha Group, Protocol Labs, and uh, Filecoin Foundation. Uh, these are some of the people which you can check it on the, you know, on the website of ChangeGPT as well. Now, in terms of the, uh, before that, actually, I would like to also cover a bit more, as I said, gains associate GBV, Unreal Capital, Funfair, Pools Ventures, Change GPT, CD5, and uh, DCI, Morningstar Ventures are some of the partnerships that they have. And these are the different chains that they can go to. Um, now, uh, going back to uh, okay, metrics, they have, uh, the utility of uh, style token. You can join as an owner and connect your NFTs to the protocol if you're holding at least the minimum amount of the token. Utilize the infrastructure for bridging. You can participate as a tailor and earn rewards for it. You could do a token holding to participate in DAO voting and staking to eligibility for DAO participation. Uh, the tokenomics itself, uh, you know, the IDO launch is going to be vesting for. Uh, go on the way to the top 12 percent at tge no cliff and then five months linear vesting and the price of the token is 0 0.1 so at one cent and 9.2 million fdv because there's 920 million tokens and then um, the earlier rounds also i might check if pools ventures has a bit more detail usually they also put it in i think they have already completed the ido though but uh you know doesn't matter and always see um, if they have a bit more. So they've done the style quite early, actually. So they also have improved the tokenomics, interestingly. Uh, but they have TG market cap is 700k, including liquidity. Token network is on ETH and Arbitrum. Uh, anyway, the, uh, the KOL private, all, all these rounds have smaller unlock than public, and uh, TG is at least uh, six months, even for the KOL. So quite a strict uh, vesting system that they have got. Um, and if you want to learn more, they have the document here. So the KOLs have 10% TG, six months uh, vesting after that. Public is 12%, five months vesting after that. Private is at uh, 10% um, TG and then seven months vesting, quite a generous vesting to be fair with the, um, yeah, interestingly, quite generous vesting with the private round and then seed has 8% TGE and 10 months vesting. Also seed has quite a generous vesting from what I can see. And uh, yeah, yeah. so they've raised in total um, almost 2 million. Initial market cap is going to be, as I said, uh, without liquidity is going to be 256. With liquidity is going to be around 500 and quite low, actually. But uh, let's see how it goes. So that's in terms of the token metrics. Um, IDO is happening uh, tomorrow on ChainGPT and already finished in pools. And Citify is also starting the IDO. In terms of the socials, they've got um, good traction 226k and their posts are getting quite a fair bit of attention especially leo is actively promoting the project in different channels now the final project i would like to cover is uh launching on engine starter and uh, game file launchpad 
It's called Nextgami. It's a comic-driven Web3 gaming platform. It's dedicated to, you know, uh, traditional gaming and Web3 ecosystem. So that's Steam plus Twitch functionality coming into Web3. Uh, and the app's already live on, uh, you know, Android if you want to play it. I don't like this chart. It looks quite scammy, to be honest. And they have the game file supporting function of... Uh, you know, RPG from uh, Metaverse, Mining, uh, x to earn as well as NFTs for the platform of GameFi. They have gaming natures and the ease of use, and they have removed the barriers, basically, of the listing different games to the project. Uh, the team also has partnerships with Azure, Nabbox, Pulse Finance, Tencent Games, ByteDance, uh, so these are Chinese, uh, behind TikTok, Alibaba Games, and Questan. Uh, in terms of their socials, they've got 500,000 followers and super active uh, actually following that they've got. The idea itself is happening on BRC Starter, GameFi, uh, uh, Engine Starter, as well as Pulse Finance. And as I said, uh, they are giving that uh, functionality of sort of Twitch. Um, so every game incubated through their platform will receive comprehensive Web3 services, and then it's going to go through the IDU on 616 and market making mechanism. So it's a platform that's going to have a lot of games into it. In terms of their tokenomics for public round, they are having a vesting of 50% TGE and then four months daily linear vesting. So it's good to have that 40% 50% uh, unlock. And the token itself is at uh, 5 cents. And... Uh, total supply of 1 million billion. So that means um, the token itself is going to have a valuation of FTV of uh, 50 is quite high for this project, but you know, the unlock is also quite high. And that's why they're getting an unlock of uh, almost 2 million on TGE, including the liquidity. And the token itself is gonna be on Matic. So IDEO is happening uh, very soon, it's going to happen uh, 29th of April to the 30th of April, and the uh, listing is going to follow after that in early May. Uh, style protocol listing is, by the way, on the 1st of May, and they're listing on a few exchanges. Token is going to be on Arbitron. So this is the coverage I had for the next few IDOs in the next, next uh, seven days. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me and I will get back to you after talking to the project itself. Thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Goodbye.